And now we're very excited to have Lulu Miller join us on the airwaves. Hello, hello. Hi, Lulu. Hey there. Lulu is the co-founder of one of my favorite podcasts, Invisibilia. She has a, a new book coming out called Why Fish Don't Exist. And uh, Lulu, it's about the dangers of trying to order the world through the story of a 19th century scientist? Yes, and a little bit of in my life as well. Oh, yeah. Very public radio right there. What, what can you do? You're making fun of me, Chris? Never. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Talk uh, about very public radio. I mean, this uh, <laughs> Well, okay. Situation. Since we are in this, this music-y situation, I wanted to tell you something. So for the last 15 years or so, I have been working as a science reporter, love the job. Every now and then, you do come into contact with terms that are a little dry, jargony, technical, things like, um, like uh, paraphilic taxonomic genera or uh, clavicular air sac. Oh, Just wait, like, are we allowed to say Yeah, they're, No, they're the... good. They're totally <laughs> innocuous, but they can be a little off-putting, a little dry. Okay. okay, but also, you sometimes come into contact with terms for scientific concepts that are begging to be band names. Like, okay. I'm listening. Yeah, okay, so like, should you have an amazing band, you're, you're not sure what to name it, look to science. Okay, so like, things, I've been compiling a list for 15 years, I kid you not. Okay, so we've got like, spooky action at a distance. <laughs> Einstein's famous way of dismissing quantum entanglement, he didn't think it was real. Einstein was wrong. Um, but okay, <laughs> defenders of lefty. Uh, uh, embryology of the chick. Um, 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 di uh, dinos the dinosaur renaissance. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. The okay, I'm completely obsessed with dinosaurs. Tell me about the dinosaur renaissance. What it really was? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so for a long time, people thought that dinosaurs were sort of big lizards, like cold blooded roaming the earth. You might still think that. I sort of still think that. But in the 1960s, a bunch of scientists started seeing evidence for the idea that maybe they were more like warm-blooded, maybe a little bit closer to birds. Enter the plot to Jurassic Park. And anyway, in retrospect, after that paradigm shift in the 1960s, where more and more people believe that, it was called the dinosaur, the dinosaur renaissance. That was renaissance. that paradigm shift. And like, I've always wondered, okay, like, what is the dinosaur re renaissance? What do they sound like? Like what the band? I've always the, bi the band, the dinosaur. Yeah, like are they are the they metal? Are uh, they punk? No, no, I no, I think uh, um, I feel like the dinosaur renaissance would be a a disco cover band. I think <laughs> I think they would be a disco cover band. Yeah, um, okay. And I, I'm I'm seeing um, it's like four retirees. Um, <laughs> they're they're from Petaluma. They're um, they're known as the absolute first pick of a wedding band, right. um, providing it's not your first wedding. <laughs> and uh, um, and, they're, uh, and they're massive deadheads. Gotta be, yeah. They're deadheads. Um, so. But Chris, what would they sound like? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> um, so what would they sound like playing, uh, for instance, like Birdsong? Bird song. Y'all know bird song? This is not dinosaur renaissance, by the way. I'm just reminding you. All I know is something like a bird. You, you remember. Very popular. Okay. Bird, bird song. Um, here is dinosaur renaissance. Dinosaur renaissance playing bird song. everyone. I want to go to that second wedding. I, oh, it's okay. going to be a party. It's going to be right. a party. All right. Okay. Well, I've got more for you. Okay. All right. Um, how about, okay, the psychic unity of mankind. The psychic unity of mankind. Uh, what is it? 
What is, well, okay, so it's a, it was this term sort of in the 1800s, a, a German philosopher came up with this wacky idea that regardless of gender or class or race, we all might sort of be like, we all might be humans <laughs> underneath. Um, and he was widely mocked and reviled, uh, but slowly the, the, the idea caught on through the 1900s. <laughs> Uh, where it gained more and more prominence, this idea that we were all equal underneath uh, and in recent years seems to perhaps be falling out of fashion, but... Um, right. The uh, psychic, so the, the psychic, psychic unity, unity of, of mankind. Of mankind. Um, I think they're, uh, I think they're an acapella group. I think, <laughs> yes. I think okay. they're an acapella okay. group. Kind of, yeah, kind of like a glee, uh, <laughs> glee club sort of acapella group. Um, they're, from, uh, they're from Jenner by the Sea, I think. <laughs> Yes. And um, okay. Okay. Lot, of, lot of musical theater covers, uh, but you know, I think they're also probably um, deadheads. I think they're probably deadheads. Okay, okay. still and, deadheads. Um, yeah, so I think maybe uh, one, two, three, four. All I know is something like a bird within her sang. Oh my God. I, think, I think I totally had a crush on one of you in college, definitely. It's, it's, we're all flattered. Okay. Um, all right. You want one more? I'm dying for one more, yes. Okay, yeah. this one might be my favorite. Okay. Executed for nihilism. I see. Um, they're definitely a, um, they're a death metal band. Yeah, they got, yeah, um, they, are. they are. From Sebastopol. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and uh, I, think they, uh, I think they love the Grateful Dead. <laughs> I think they, yeah, I think they, yeah. yeah. Yes. Executed for now with them. Live from here, making dreams come true. Lulu Miller making dreams come true. She'll be back later in the show.